Hi everyone, so today I really want to play with this palette. And yes, don't judge me, I do have the stack, but I wanted it in palette format and I also like the additional shades that I've added. I can understand how frustrating it might be though if you are someone that just wants one of the singles, the original ones, because I don't think they are gonna stock them. I think there are a few that are still available on the website, but I think that once they're out of stock, they're going to discontinue them. But yeah, I thought it might be fun to try using every shade from this palette on my eyelids. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna create. It could be really fun, it could really be really bad, I don't know. We're gonna try it and see how it goes. I have used a few of these shades already because I did this kind of uh, rainbow look the other day. I was really inspired by Pinkish, put it on the screen, the look she did, and I created something like that with the yellow here, um, but all the other shades I didn't use. So I want to try using all the shades today on my eyelid. I think this could be potentially really cool or could just go really wrong. But either way, we're gonna try it out. Although I know a lot of people that do use this palette aren't gonna necessarily use all the shades at once um, because uh, yeah, it's, it's a very colorful palette. So I've obviously got my base on already and I've got my primer on. I'm using the Hard Candy Eyes Limit Primer and um, I, I honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. But I think I'm gonna start with the shade Meltdown. This is a gorgeous color. I have a dress exactly this color, which I love. And uh, we're gonna try it out because it could be really nice. It's a teal and it's stunning. In my experience, these shades don't often perform the best, so we're gonna see how they go. I'm starting off with my Wayne Gloss 20 brush. I usually start with the Out of B color and then kind of work my way in. Pigmentation's not bad, straight off the bat. Just gonna plonk it right here. Do the same on the other eye. Lately, I feel like I've been doing a lot of colorful looks recently because there are a lot of kind of rainbowish type palettes being released, have you noticed? Which I'm not opposed to, especially if it's done kind of differently. It does take a little bit to blend out, like I feel like it is pretty dry and um, I'm moving my brush, but it does take a little bit of work to get that blend going. I'm not gonna be too fussed if they're not matching right now because I will obviously fix it up at some point. I'm gonna put a bit of hazmat, which is the dark purple out here. I'm not gonna pick up too much. I'm gonna kind of take it out here and see what that looks like. And then just gonna blend that with the other brush. Take it into a little bit of a wing, why not? Let's, let's do that. And then blend the edges. What next? I think I'm gonna take Arsenic. Just moving down this palette, Arsenic, and this is the shade. It's kind of like a bluish green. And I'm gonna add that right next to Meltdown. This has a little bit of shimmer. I don't know if it's gonna translate on the lid. Cause oftentimes I, I notice that Melt, they there is a bit of um, shimmer, but it doesn't actually show up on the eye. I think it's just to help kind of with the blend. A really pretty shade, really good pigmentation. And I'm gonna take a bit more Meltdown and just blend that, the edges. Okay, what do you think so far? I like it, it's different. I do like these shades together, I think they look really pretty. But what shade to go in with next? Um, I think I'll take the green kind of in here. Let's see how that looks. So far this is kind of like a gradient look, but um, I'm gonna take it a little bit into the crease as well. And then with the other brush, just kind of blend that together. I think they layer together really nicely. Crease color, I'm thinking it might be cool to add a bit of radon and neon there. I'm not sure, let's, let's try it, let's try it. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a crease brush and a fluffy brush to kind of get it looking really diffused because I think right now the blend looks really good and I want to keep it quite soft. I'm gonna start off with neon. I'm gonna add neon above the green. It's the tiniest bit so the yellow does peek through. And so far in terms of the quality of this yellow, I do find that it is comparable to the stack. Like I do feel like the pigmentation is good and it's just overall less messy than the stack. No fallout, which is great. I'm gonna blend out with this clean blending brush. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of hazmat actually because I feel like that purple is getting a little bit lost. It kind of looks a little bit blue, like Hazmat and Meltdown layered on top of each other has turned it kind of blue, which is kind of cool. Obviously, you know, as you mix colors together, they're gonna look a little different, which I love to do. I love layering eyeshadows to see what color combos can be created. I really love how the eye look is at the top. I think if I add these two colors 
on top. I think it's going to clash too much, so I might leave these colors for the lower lash line, but I am going to add a bit of uranium um, where hazmat is, maybe just above there. Just a smidgen, just to help the blend. Because I don't want to ruin the colors, I'm going to take a clean brush again. I don't want to take it up too high. I just, I don't like taking eyeshadow up all the way to the brow, so I'm going to try and keep it pretty clean. And again with the yellow, just kind of blending that in. So it kind of is a soft wing. It's, it's barely there, but it is kind of really soft. Which I don't mind. And I'm going to take that brush, flick it outwards to create that really super soft wing. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I think it looks really beautiful and they all blend together so well. So really, really happy with that. I'm going to go and do lower lash line. What to do? I'm going to start off with radioactive, which is that bright pink. The one I have in my stack, I've had to kind of repress because I did at some point damage it, but the pigmentation is still good. Just connect it kind of with that purple. I don't necessarily think this pink goes with the eyeshadow look, but for the purpose of using all the shades, I'm going to do that. I don't think it looks bad, but I just, I don't think it really goes. But anyway, I like that this is a neon pink because sometimes if the pink is too, if it's too red, it can look a bit like pink eye. <laughs> so I don't mind that. And then I'm also, same brush, taking radon in here, in the inner part of the little lash line. I am going to use it, run it just a little bit below that too. It does look a little bit crazy, but I just, I love the colors here, especially this half of the palette. I just think it's, they're a nice addition. They're a little bit unusual, um, and that's kind of why I like it. I got the two liquid lipsticks as well, and I don't know what shade to use. I'm going to swatch them on the back of my hand. Let's see. This is Atomic. It's gorgeous. Definitely a very punchy color. And then this is Super Heat. Wow. Maybe Super Heat. I think that could be really fun. They're liquid lipsticks I have used before. They're very, very runny. They feel very light on the lips in texture. Um, but the longevity I don't find to be particularly fantastic. And also the pigmentation tends to be really good, which this is. So generally speaking, when I do a really bright lip, um, I don't really like that really harsh line there, so I like to take a brush and kind of soften it, the edges. And I like to take a brush that's black, otherwise it's gonna, it can stain. So the liquid lip does have a little bit of iridescence to it. It's not overly um, shiny or anything like that, and I like that it's a little bit more subtle because I feel like it's more, um, I don't know, user friendly. Because I know a lot of people don't really like metallic lips, and this is just slightly it just has that slight sheen but it's not like i said overly metallic and i like that because personally i don't wear metallic lipsticks all that often i do have a few uh, that i pull out every now and again but it's not it's not something that i wear out most of the time so this is the final look max is here because he's just woken up i've given him some boobs and he still looks a little bit hungry so we're going to quickly finish this off basically i used this pink mascara on the lower lash line um, lower lashes, I should say. This very overpriced Dior pink mascara, which this is probably the third time I've used it, so at least it's got some use out of it. Um, and I think I love it. Now, my thoughts on the shades. I feel like the blend is really good. I mean, definitely there are some shades that gave me um, more trouble than others. Okay, so today <laughs> I have lots of distractions. So Joey's here and Max is asleep. <laughs> Anyway, I really like the overall outcome of this palette. I think the blend is, is beautiful. Um, I think these colors go really well. I think this is a really unique kind of um, color story. Personally, I do like a palette over stacks. I just find the stacks so inconvenient. And yeah, no, no, no. I definitely feel like some shades were easier to use than others. Like I do feel like Hazmat no, took a little bit no. of work, Meltdown took a little bit of work. The rest were beautiful. Um, obviously I haven't used all of them extensively, so take it 
uh, with a grain of salt. But you know what? I think the shades go really well all together and I like the outcome. I love the outcome. And that's how I judge palette um, most of the time. And yeah, I don't feel like they took a whole lot of work. And yeah, I like it. I am surprised and how much I like the end result because um, you definitely definitely could have been a disaster, I feel like, with some of these shades. And yeah, it's a bit of fun. Anyway, we're gonna go because it's, it's time for a nap. This kid, you need a nap, don't you? Do you need a nap? Yeah. <laughs> he does. But let me know if you've got this palette, what you think of it. Are you liking all the rainbow you know, releases recently, or are, are you over it? Rightly so. I mean, I'm over all the releases right now, there's just so much, uh, which it always is at the end of the year. If you want me to use another palette um, and try and use all the shades, give me your suggestions. Anyway, I better go. I hope you're having a good one wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.